on the move again. About 250 Sunni families were seeking shelter from Daesh in Kirkuk when they say Kurdish told them to leave. The Kurds accused the families of supporting a Daesh counterattack in Kirkuk last week. But the UN is concerned they are being collectively punished. The same displacement happened to refugees who came from other sides. They were sent to remote areas that lack services. I have to mention here that Daesh members who attacked Kirkuk were mostly Kurdish, but the security forces there took this attack as a pretext to force the Arab families out of the city. Thousands of people are heading to refugee camps across Iraq after Iraqi forces and their allies recaptured their cities and villages. There were almost a hundred homes. Not a single one remained intact. They were all destroyed. Some were hit by mortars, others by rockets. We could not open our doors. While many have lost their homes, they now say they are free from living under Daesh rule. Daesh controlled us for two years and four months. These people did not know God's law, nor his people. They know nothing. They are tyrannical. More than 7,000 people have been displaced since the offensive against Daesh started. But officials warn this is only the beginning. Around a million people still live in Mosul, and the UN worries they will be forced to seek shelter once the fighting inside the city begins. Nafisa Latic, TRT World.